Hey guys, what's up? So in today's video, I'm going to show you that how I use the Beatbody and how I set it up the Beatbody and the foot switch to perform live. So if you are going for a two hours show and you are going to perform solo, I don't believe in to create loops for all of the songs like 20 or 30 songs and you have to go one by one. I don't want I don't want to be that rigid in a live show. If you are getting some requests for new songs, you are obviously not going to perform that. So my philosophy is that I can have like five to six or seven loops, which I have programmed. Uh, you know, if I'm getting a new request or new song, I can just figure it out that exactly which beat I want to play with the song. I can set the tempo and I can go. So whatever song I'm getting, I can play with that. So today in this video, I'm going to show that how you can set it up, set your beat body to do the same. After completing any song, you don't have to strip down and change the beat body configuration and then you have to go back to the program. And also, I don't like the rigidity of, you know, playing the songs in that sequence. If you're performing live, you never know that what is going to come. And you have to adjust your songs, you have to adjust your performance as per with that scenario, in that situation. So I like to be flexible and I'm going to show you how you can do that using your beat body. So uh, first of all, what I'm using here, my right now my beat body is connected to the Blackstar Acoustic Core ID. This is an amazing app. So the beat body is going to the instrument track and I'm not giving anything. I'm just boosted the highs a little bit so that it sounds much more distinguishable and I haven't set anything. Now coming to the beat body that uh, I have to set the foot switch so that I don't have to stoop down and I can Customize the beat body as per my need for every song. Okay, I have total six to seven rhythms, I believe. I think most of them are four by four. There is one three by four, one six by four, and one is shuffle rhythm. So you can cover almost all the songs, almost everything with this six or seven rhythms. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I use uh, the beat body. First, let me show you what are the rhythms that I'm using. I will go to my songs folder, and uh, this is the basic four by four. Feels, transition, endings. I'm using all my customized grooves. I don't use Beatbody pre-install loops. I don't find them very flexible at all. If you have Beatbody manager, then you can design your own middle loops, which I have designed. You have to set the intro, the ending, uh, the part one, part two, and the feels, a lot of feels, and then accent hits as well. Now I'm using this uh, six by eight one, uh, which is showing here a four by four, but it's six by eight actually. <laughs> Then I have another 4x4. So if you want these rhythms, you can let me know in the comments. And if I get enough comments, then maybe I will post these rhythms to my website. And if you want, you can grab it from there. And then uh, coming back to the Beatbody setup. Uh, now let me show you how I have set up the Beatbody foot switch. I will just double click on this one this two and uh, as you can see i have to travel i have to navigate to the foot switch foot switch one function so this is the foot switch one okay not this one uh, <laughs> it's like in arabic okay it's coming from right to left anyways um so i have to go to uh switch stopped so i want to specify that what this switch do when there is no songs so i will show you what i have done so as you can see that I am going to use it for tap tempo. When the song is stopped, I want to use it as a tap tempo. Then when it is playing, I want to use it as accent hits. I will show you uh, how I use it. And then when it is paused, I want to use it as unpause. Okay. Basically, I can unpause from this one or this one. Okay. So let me show you uh, how this sounds. If you don't use my loops, you can still use this setting. I'm going to show you how. Let me change the songs just a little bit. Let me go to country. So right now the loop is playing. And I want to use some accent hit. And when this is paused, and when this is stopped, right now this is stopped, 
in that moment i can use this to tap tempo okay maybe one two three four one two three four and i can play this loop again all right now let me come to the second foot switch and foot switch two function when it is stopped i want to use it as song advance okay the song will be changed there is not much song so like there are six to seven so what i'm going to do i'm going to cycle through the loops so if i if i perform a new song or if i get any request out of my song list then what i can do i can just try to figure out one rhythm that will be suited i will just go there i will check uh, tap the tempo and set it uh, then i can go back okay uh now when this is playing i want to use it to pause the rhythm so it will be paused and when it is paused i want to unpause this with this one this one or this one okay so i will show you a demonstration of this one suppose this is my rhythm now i can pause it and if you want you can go there by using a feel as well and you can use it okay uh so this is the configuration that i am using now what can be the problems here so sometimes bitbuddy don't remember the settings when i turn it off okay so there are some you know bugs inside the bitbuddy still even if i have updated the firmware hopefully they will solve it that is one thing another thing is that uh when you tap the tempo okay uh there might be cases that when you don't get it exactly right at the first attempt so what you can do you have a headphone volume there so basically what i do that i use my beat buddy with the tc helicon so basically this headphone out i can take it a separate out and uh, i have i can just lower the volume of beat buddy but still i have the headphone volume so i can set the tempo properly using the tap tempo but for that i have to stoop down so yeah uh, that's that is one exception so that was the settings that i'm using with my beat buddy if you like this video uh please like share and subscribe and let me know in comments if you have any questions and if you want to use my loops just let me know in the comments maybe i will post them in my website and you can grab it from there see you in the next video thanks for watching bye bye